I'm going to repeat the process again. So this 1C, I'm going to put middle, maximum, minimum. Then I take a look. Standalone number, 2. 2. Okay, now is the tricky part. Remember we say amplitude, we don't want to care about the sign, okay? So the amplitude is just 7, okay? So I take these two, I plus 7, I take the 2, I minus 7. So remember, this one is the amplitude. So I calculate this is 9, 2 minus 7 is a negative 5. Okay? Next, this planning or exercise now, it's a tiny bit funny. They asked me to run, uh, draw until 240. Okay, but that's okay. We'll take a look at that later, okay? So now, we have this already. The next, okay, the next step is to write down period. So when I write down period, I will take a look. What's the planning for me? Is it in degree or radian? It's in degree. So if this question is in degree, my calculation of period, I will use 360 divided by the number beside x, which is 3. So I divide by 3 here. I have 120 degree. Okay? So next, I'm going to put a tiny planning beside this period. Then I take a look at the sign. So the negative is to tell you draw a negative sign graph. Okay? So this negative in front of this sign is for you to draw the shape. Okay, as negative sine graph. So negative sine graph, I will draw, be careful, instead of draw that direction, you draw opposite direction like this. Okay, if your planning is okay, you should be okay to draw, okay? So now let's take a look. 120, I need to draw this, okay? Now let's put in my axis. My axis says that I need to draw from negative 5 to 9. Then I need to draw from 0 onwards. So I will draw axis planning. I need more on the upside, okay? If you don't want, you can draw balance. Whatever you don't use, that's fine, okay? Or if you want to draw properly, then maybe I start my zero here. Then I'll have maybe like two. Okay. So it's a bit high, okay? Let me just maybe draw on this here. This is a nine, right? Then I have a negative five. So I just need to make sure this one is this one. Okay, then let's see the planning for x axis is going to be until 240. So 120, 240. Okay, so now we've got to be careful. This one says I need to draw this shape in 120. So for 120, I need to draw this shape already. I will do a planning or draw this. I will split into four. Okay, it's up to you because I like to plot the dotted line first. So I start plotting the dotted line. My center is at 2, okay? I remember, it's 2. Then I need to draw this shape, okay? So I have to go down to the minimum, comes back to 2, goes up to maximum. If you don't want to draw the graph so ugly, you can make the 95 and the 9 smaller, okay? If not, your sine graph just be a very tall sine graph. Just be a bit patient with it, right? So then you come back to 2, okay? So you look, take a look at my tall sine graph here. I will connect the dotted line they have drawn. It will just look a very tall sine graph like this way. Okay? So these are my dotted, 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 dotted. Here. Okay? This is my planning. Okay? So I need to draw this graph in 120. Then what happened here is I need to draw another time. This 120 is one full sine graph. I draw one more time. So let's draw it again. I split this to... 4 quadrant, and I start plotting the negative, comes back to 2 again, goes to a maximum, and comes back to 2, okay? So I'm going to draw another sine graph from here. Okay? Now, do not <laughs> one more thing. Do not force your sine graph at the x-axis to go through a specific point, okay? So this specific point that I split into quadrant belongs to this center dot here, actually, this one. Okay? So half of 120 is going to be 60. The 60 is not this 
intersection is actually this dot at two here you gotta be very careful so same goes to this 120 position actually this this dot over here okay the center dot actually and uh, this one is going to be between 120 and 240 is also at this center dot here okay so if you scat then you draw dotted line to the center dot i'm just explaining to you okay because some students go and force it force this line to go over there then it's actually wrong concept okay so you gotta be a, a bit careful so why i draw this one is because i want to guide myself to draw 195 all right so okay this graph is done just that the sine graph is very tall okay yeah just learn to be okay with it if you draw on your paper it should looks nicer than my my sine graph on the board okay it, it doesn't look these two same <laughs> maybe my 120 and 240 i didn't measure properly okay so this measurement and this 120 240 measurement if you do it nicely it should be very very nice uh graph that is repeated okay so that's 1c